Hi, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real Pea. Today I'm going to feature mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes. And they are fantastic. So what I did first was I put on um, about five cups of water on the stove on medium and let it boil. Okay, put that in your pot and let it be boiling. In the meantime, I'm going to cut up, I have already cut up um, three large russet potatoes. Just peel them and then cut them in half in cubes like this. Okay, wash it. Make sure all your dry, uh, your brown spots are off of your potatoes. And rinse them off. Make sure you rinse everything, clean everything, wash everything. Okay, and that's how they'll look. And I'm going to drop these into my boiling water. Okay, we're going to drop your potatoes and be careful when you drop them in the hot water. Just kind of lay them in there a little easy so that hot water won't drop on you. Splash up on your arms. And so you're going to put your potatoes in there. And in the water, I added a teaspoon of salt. It just helps your uh, water to boil, bring the water to a boil. Once your potatoes are in there. Okay, that's where they look. Okay, and then I put the top on halfway. I kind of leave it unless you have a steam pot that has that hole in it. But since I don't, I just kind of tilt my top a little bit where it won't over boil on your stove. Okay, and I'll be back. These are, bring them to a boil and then you take a uh, your fork and see if they're done. You just stick them in there. And if they're done, just turn your fur off and put the top back on like this. That's after they're done. But right now, I'm going to keep that top like that until they are tender. And I'll be back. Okay, now my potatoes are done. And you can see that they're tender to the touch. See that? So now I'm going to drain them over here. And drain the water off of them. And I'll put the potatoes back. I'll show you. Okay, this is your potatoes, and I'm going to drain them. And in this same pot, I'm going to set it to the side and stick my, uh, put my stick of butter in there while the pot is still hot. Okay. Put that in there while that's still hot. And then I'm going to take uh, some kosher salt and black pepper. Black pepper, about a teaspoon, and then about a teaspoon of kosher salt. We're going to mix that up, and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, garlic powder, just a little bit. About a fourth teaspoon. Okay. And then I'm going to take my potatoes and add them back in here as my um, butter is melting. I'm going to let it melt a little bit because I'll show you how it's going to melt in there with all your seasonings. Okay. Okay, this is how it's going to look with your seasonings in there and your butter is melted. See? Now this is how I do it. I just put the butter in there when my pot is hot. But you can melt your butter prior to and pour it in there if you want to. And then I'll just take my potatoes and put them in there. And then of course you're going to season this to your taste. Cause you're going to put if you think you need some more salt or pepper or whatever. 
and then you're going to mash those in there. Now some people add milk, but uh, I don't add any milk to mine, as you know. I just keep it just butter, potatoes, salt and pepper, just keep it simple. And they turn out really good and fluffy. You just mix them up real good. Take your time and mix them up. See how it's coming out? Now, if you want to add milk, you can. It just makes them a little bit more looser. But this is uh, three whole russet potatoes, remember? And you cut up. So these will be ready to go with my meal. As you know, Real Real Kitchen for Real People, we fix the whole meal for you. So you can have it the whole meal, not just one thing. But and you just stir this up until it gets to your consistency. Some people like it lumpy, kind of, and then some want it real whippy. I'm kind of in the middle. I do like to taste that potato in there. And that's what it'll look like when it's finished and ready. And I'm going to let these rest. Now remember to subscribe. And comment below when you fix those. Let me know how they taste. Some people might want to add cheese on their grated cheese on the top. That's good too. Or sour cream in there. Chives. You can do a whole lot of things with it. So let me know what you did. Because I know you're going to do it. But uh, be sure to, to check back with me on other items that's coming up and subscribe and that way you get it automatically and hit that bell so till then love love